So the new Google TV 4K streamer finally pushed an update and this is the first update since its release last year. So we're going to go into what's involved in that update. Also, we're going to do a live update just to see if anything changes. So of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. Of course, in order to check for your updates, you're going to go to your settings I'm going to click on the gears icon. We're going to go to system, click on about, and there should be an option there for system update. Click on that. It will go ahead and check. So you can see, I do have an update and it does just tell you two generic terms. So um, bug fixes as well as Android patch for 2025. So according to 95 Google via Android Authority, this update fixes an issue where Adobe Atmos gets stuck while Adobe True HD and DTS HD Master Audio are no longer listed as detected codecs. That's an issue that I haven't experienced, but let me know in the comment section if this is something you ran into on this device. So connected webcams are also consistently detected. So that's another issue or another fix that was made. But again, Google didn't go into details what was fixed, it just said bug fixes as well as security patch update. So let's go ahead and do the download. Like I said, this one is 790 megabytes. So this is a large file. It should update our Android security patch. It should also have some improvements. So let's go ahead and we'll go through the full install here. All right, so this is gonna take a while. I'll go ahead and fast forward the video. All right, so just a quick restart and let me just verify that we are good to go. System again, about. Check for updates. And you can see that we are fully up to date and let me go back. And now you can see at the bottom, when you go all the way down to about, you see the, the current operating system and build. So it's UTTK dot two four one two one zero dot zero zero three and that's the current version as of january 1 2025 so one thing i always like to do after i'm done updating just go through the different menus go through the the device itself make sure everything's still good to go because sometimes we do run into some issues and that's something i'll keep playing with but i also wanted to just see if anything changed in my audio settings and i know this isn't connected to a device per se that supports those types of audio, but I always wanted to check and just kind of see what options are available, especially after an update like this. So if I go to display and sound, you can see it's just connected to my video capture card currently, audio. So if I go to my audio options, enhanced dialogue, that's not what we're looking at. Click on that, you can see we still have those options there, Adobe Digital Plus, Digital, PCM Stereo. Let's go back, advanced sound settings, Enable only the format that are supported by your device. Never use surround sound, that's an option there. Manual, selectively enable or disable each format. All right, so that's something I'll probably have to play with, but below you can see you can set Adobe Digital, Adobe Digital Plus, Adobe Atmos with Digital Plus and DTS. Like I said, I keep playing with this, but the reason for these videos, I do this with a shield as well, just to kind of go through the updates, see what is being done also i myself like to test out whatever they push out that way if something is out there that's breaking a device i'll be the first one to kind of know about it let me know if you received these updates let me know your thoughts in the comments if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one